name and your address. Again, my name is Tom Hodges. I'm a fair board of element, 104 Celeste Court, Thomasville, Georgia. Uh, again, I'm sure you will uh, have any specific questions for myself or Clayton Milligan. Uh, please let us know. Are there any questions for the speaker from the commissioners? Would, would, it, would this gentleman be the one to talk to about the buffering is, uh, and the sidewalks and this, that, and the other? Yes, myself or Clayton. Okay. No, uh, I've been riding around looking at the Dollar Generals uh, in Valdosta, and I, and I live in Hayhara. I live in the county. I'm not in the incorporated area. Uh, and it seems that these nine-foot sidewalks that y'all put, are putting in are very nice, but they're used for cart storage of your carts that you get from your distribution center. Everyone you go by, the, sir? The carts are supposed to be kept inside. Well, <laughs> Y'all got a problem that y'all don't know about. <laughs> because uh, you go right over here on Bay Tree right now, and that's pretty close to the same style of building that you had going in there. And there's a double row of carts sitting on, on the side of that building on that nine foot sidewalk. Uh, and like Matt was talking about, you, you're you wanting a 36 foot drive in there. Which way is the vehicle going to come in to unload and back into the, to the unloading area? Uh, there should be a a pointer there somewhere. You want to use it? To... There we are. Can you give us your name and, and number for the minutes? I mean, your name and your address for, for the minutes, please. Name is Clayton Milligan with Lovell Engineering. It's 3998 Inner Perimeter Road, Georgia. Thank you. The, they have a full-size semi that will, will serve this side. It will be coming in from the interstate. It makes a right-hand turn onto Hall Street. And the way we've got it designed now, it has just enough room it will pull around. That's why this space right here is, is striped off, because it has to oversteer into this area. Mm -hmm. And then it will pull straight in here, and then it will back up to the um, stationary scissor lift. And then when it leaves, it pulls out this front driveway and go back out on the 122. So it, will basically, it makes a loop, loop through. And then back out is it's certainly not impossible, but it's going to be a difficult route. Right, that's yeah. why the, the 36 foot, that's where that right. came from. It's, that's what it needed to make that. But it, it really bothers me of the, the carts on the sidewalk. Uh, the 39 parking spots. Uh, uh, like I said, I live in Hayhire, and we're commonly referring to Dollar General as the Hayhire Mall. And uh, I've been in there countless number of times, and there's no parking. Uh, I mean, you know, Matt was speaking that it seemed to be sufficient over there, and maybe at the times that it's been checked. Uh, now, the layout of the store is different, I realize. You have the entrance on the center front, and so if you, if you walk down the sidewalk on the, on the side of the building, which would be the east side, it's a long walk. But here again, that sidewalk is filled up with carts. So that makes it even, that's that much more. Uh, you know, so I, that's the things I really have a... I have a problem with that sidewalk, and another thing, and I know this is not your problem, and I plan on talking to to somebody or possibly changing this, is handicapped. The, Democrat, the, the, uh, the demographics of Hay Howard is there's a, uh, we're an older community and we have older people, and two handicapped spots, I don't feel is enough. But here again, that's, y'all are, are, uh, are, are doing it correctly, and I understand that, but it's something that is at all possible. But, I think the 39 parking spaces uh, is not going to be sufficient, especially if you increase the, the store by the, by the size that it is. So. As far as the carts go, that's something that's a, a Dollar General corporate issue. Yes. Um, we're a preferred development for Dollar General. But yeah, I am. Certainly, they mention of that right. going forward. Uh, you know, in, in terms of the, the parking, <coughs> we actually did a, a study between that is Thomasville, uh, Boston, um, Meggs, and three or four other stores, stores close by mm -hmm. uh, where we're located in Thomasville, Georgia. Um, and we did a peak hour traffic study from five to seven. Um, and we found basically, and we were requested to do this, uh, to, to basically just help out with how many cars come in and out, how many cars are, how long are they there in the shopping time, right. um, just to get some statistics on the issue. And we found that between five and seven, obviously, was your peak hour. Um, but that the turnover was so quick, it's usually five to seven minutes, that there's there's almost never more than 14 cars in the parking lot at one time. Uh, well, 
Well, so the, we didn't do the hay harvest for us. Okay. Uh, I could, you go up there on Sunday morning, and uh, from 9 o'clock in the morning, you're, you're looking for parking spaces. And uh, with, the, with uh, the street right there in front of it, which is the same street y'all will be a buddy too when you build a new store, Hall Street. Uh, and, and like I said, the, the problem is mostly the lack of parking and and not being able to use the sidewalks. And even in front of the store, they use the carts for display. And here again, that's, I know that's not y'all, but this is, uh, you happen to be here and I can talk. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Hopefully we can prototype this store. Right. Jim, yes. Uh, just to echo a little bit of Commissioner Hall's concern, and, and I think he hit on it. Hey, Hira, that we have the overlay district in downtown, and they're trying to upgrade the image of the town. I have to go out and take a look at Harvey's. That was the last thing that was built there, and that's what they're looking for, something along those lines. Uh, a dollar store, I love the dollar store, but it's not really an anchor store for, for a community. We're looking to go beyond that. And Commissioner Hall mentioned the carts. They use them for displays out front, and it looks more like a flea market than it does a vibrant downtown. And it's a, it's a sore spot. Now, I, I know you're the builder. You don't make the corporate policy. You mentioned it to them. I'd like to see it in their corporate policy that they're not going to do that because it's not going to be appreciated. <laughs> And I did note that you changed those parking spaces 10 foot wide by 20. I personally appreciate that. <laughs> uh, well, it's something to need to address. 